guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, and by a minute I mean several months, and I'm sorry, but life has been crazy busy, but in the best possible way. I've been working a lot, I've been going to a lot more events lately, and then you might notice I'm in a different room, and that's because I moved, finally. I finally moved out of my studio. Now I live in a gorgeous, three bedroom house, I have a yard, I have my own bathroom, it has a bathtub, we have laundry in the house now which is amazing because I didn't have that at my old building. And it's just been awesome. Um, eventually I think I'll do a house tour if you guys want to see that, let me know. So I've just been crazy busy but now today I'm sitting down, today this is actually my second video I'm filming, so I am getting back on the YouTube train, I did not disappear forever, I promise. But today I am here with my fall favorites video. So I'm really excited to show you guys some of these things that I found. So let's hop right in. The first thing I want to share with you guys is actually a decoration that I found. This is just like a little ceramic pumpkin that I found at Michael's. And I love it because I personally am not a huge fan of typical fall colors. I don't like yellow at all. I have no good reason. I just don't like yellow. Don't love orange a ton. When I found this pumpkin, it was a magical moment because it's gray and then it has different color flowers painted all over it, which is perfect for me. You guys know I love flowers. Winston wants to say hi. Say hi, family. But yeah, perfect. Love it. Looks great in my house. Big thumbs up. The next thing I want to show you guys is a lotion. This is just a Bath and Body Works lotion, but it's in the scent A Thousand Wishes. So, good. It's just, okay. I'm always drawn to the scents because of what they look like. I know, I know. But it's pink, it's pretty. There's flowers and sparkles on the label, which is everything I want in a lotion. And it smells so good. Loving this lately. The next thing I have is a candle. Surprise, surprise, I brought you guys a candle. But this one is not from Bath & Body Works. I believe this one is actually from Target. This was a gift to me from my friends Kirsten and Brittany. We had a housewarming party and they brought me a present, which was this wonderful candle. It's called Autumn Harvest and it smells so good. It smells just like fall should. It's like kind of cinnamony, but also a little vanilla. And it just, it just smells so good. You guys, go get one. And it's a soy candle too, so it's better for the environment. And it's been burning a long while. I've been burning this all week and there's still not quite half of it left. I'm like so pleased. So next I have two different concealers to show you guys. The first one is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. It's, I think it's anti-crease, I'm not sure, but it is oil free which is awesome because my skin usually is super oily. I've been using this one under my eyes, um, and I do have to tell you guys, I did not pay for this one. This one was sent to me to try for the purpose of YouTube, but I love it. I wouldn't show it to you guys if I didn't love it. Um, the shade they sent me is actually a little light for me. I don't know if you can see that. But it's perfect for under my eyes because then it serves as a little bit of a highlight too. It covers my dark circles really well, which is impressive because I have quite a bit of purple under there. So, I've been loving this for under my eyes, but it doesn't do a great job covering blemishes. So, for that, I went out and I bought, I bought this with my money, so this is not endorsed. I bought the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So, I never really owned a concealer for blemishes because I don't typically need it, but a few weeks ago, my skin was rebelling hard. I think it's because the weather was changing, but I was just like bright red, big mountain zits, horrible. And I had an event that I had to go to, but nothing I had would cover my my breakouts. So I had been hearing really good things about this, and I had a sample of this to try. So I used it like the day before. It was amazing. And so I went out the next day and bought the full size to use for the event for that night, but I've been using it a lot because I'm like I'm almost better but I've still got a little couple little things that we're still working out but this guy's amazing. And then going back to my breakout saga from a few weeks ago, I tried these little patch thingies 
These are the Averell Acne Cover Patches. They're made with tea tree oil. They're just little patches and you put them directly over the breakout before you go to bed or I put it on before I go to bed. And then I sleep with it and in the morning you peel it off and you can actually see all of the, the pus and the gunk that it's pulled out of your skin, which sounds really gross, but that's how you know it works. This healed my breakouts so quickly. Um, I've noticed it's not great for ones that are like really under the skin, but for ones that are like right on the surface and you can kind of already, you can tell that there's stuff in there, but you don't want to get it out yourself. This, I actually need to order more because I've already gone through a whole packet, but it also comes with little, it comes with little pre-cut, I think I'm out of them, but three different sizes of circles. And then it comes with these little strip ones. And I, what I've been doing with these so I cut them in half, like that's half of one, and I've been putting it over my nose because it draws the oil out of your blackheads too, and my blackheads are almost 100% gone now, so big thumbs up to these guys. Lifesavers, rescue heroes, all around amazing. So next I have a food item. This is a smart cake from the Smart Baking Company. So last month they actually sent me a sample box which had two cakes of all of the flavors of smart cakes that they make and then also four of their smart buns which are just like hamburger buns and everything was so good even the chocolate one i almost didn't try the chocolate one because i don't like chocolate ever except in reese's but like chocolate cake no i don't like it but the smart cake chocolate ones i actually even liked those so these guys are made with coconut flour so they're gluten free and they're also low carb so each little packet in this box, this whole packet is 18 grams of carbohydrates. There's two cakes in here, so each cake is nine grams. I can eat this whole cake and only have to take like, I don't know, a quarter unit of insulin for it. That's amazing. And then it doesn't spike me, and they're high in protein too, so like that's a good thing. Gluten-free, low carb, I hardly need any insulin for these at all, and they taste amazing. Highly recommend. Next, Winston is sleeping on it, but sorry, I need this. <laughs> I bought this jacket at Gap last week because it's getting to the point in LA where when I'm on set, I need a jacket to put on over my wardrobe after the sun has gone down. Because if the sun is not in the sky, it is cold here now. So I bought this. It's really cute. It's light pink, which is my favorite color. And then the inside is lined with this like furry goodness. And it's super cute, super warm. I bought it a couple sizes bigger so that I could put it on over my costume no matter what they had me in that day. So good. Love it. Super warm, super soft. It even has a hood. I love it so much. It's so soft and cuddly. Next, I want to show you guys this little hair clip. I got this at Charm and Charlie's like a month and a half ago. But I love it because I love to wear my hair like half, half up. Um, and I normally would just secure it with bobby pins, but this little guy is so cute and so secure. Like, the teeth, great. Because a lot of these little clips that I've tried before, they just like slide or like fall out. This one doesn't, and it's super cute. The pack came with three, but this is the one I wear the most. So I have this one, which is kind of an off-white, and then it came with a pink one, and then the third one is kind of like a marbled pink and black. So they're all three really cute. They hold my hair really well. I love it. Another little accessory that I can use. Then for my fall favorite, no, I'm being photobombed. Excuse me. Say hello, YouTube. Nice to see you again. So for my fall entertainment favorite, I chose The Haunting of Hill House. If you guys haven't watched it yet, you definitely should. It is on Netflix. It's only 10 episodes. Totally bingeable. It's so good, you guys. It honestly, I've been telling people that it's like This Is Us with ghosts, and so it's perfect for me because I love horror and I love things that are like slightly scary but then also are very story driven. This definitely checks off all of those boxes. My cat is chewing on my hand right now. I need that, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's super good. The writing is amazing, the performances are on point, and then how they filmed it. What are you doing? They filmed it in a really cool way. It has a lot of really long form scenes. And then I read that they actually delayed production for six weeks just to film it this way and be attacked. 
but it definitely was worth it because the end product is amazing and it's so good and I am high key in love with Carla Gugino now who plays the mom, who's also the mom in Spy Kids. Stop biting me! <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And the last thing I have to show you guys is a new pair of sunglasses. <laughs> I got these at Charmy Charlie's as well. They're super cute. I needed new black ones because Winston killed my old ones. See, he loves sunglasses. What is with that? But I love these. No, you can't have them. You ruined the last ones. They're super cute. They kind of reminded me of Audrey Hepburn a little bit, so that was my motivation to stop behind purchasing them, and I'm going to put them away now before I lose them to a cat. Alright guys, that brings me to the end of my fall favorites slash life update video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back next week to see my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. This is a thief. He steals sunglasses and hair clips and pins and anything that fits in his mouth and he takes it and he runs and you never see it again and then when you do see it again, it is horribly mangled. Thief. But he's cute and we love him.